We have a problem and I'm going to try to explain to you because it's, it's difficult. You know, just yesterday I made a video announcing Winston's passing. He died of a, of a tumor that was uh, diagnosed. I mean, it was a really bad and aggressive tumor that grew really quickly and people didn't even realize the tumor was there. Okay, Winston is gone. But this morning something happened at the great house. We began the day and Sherlock wasn't feeling well. He was, he was in the floor, he wasn't standing up, and he was seizing. So we rushed to the hospital, and what we have found out is just so bad. Have a look at this. This is Sherlock, and he's going to need you. We have, a, we have a bit of an emergency. Sherlock is not feeling well. This morning he woke up, he wasn't walking properly, is limping a little bit and he has a high fever so I've come to the great house and we're gonna take him to the vet <laughs> Sit still, and we're off to the vet. He's not looking good. He's in, he's in a lot of pain, I can see in his face. So we're getting to the hospital. Sherlock has been quiet the whole trip. I don't know, I'm kind of worried. You see, you see how it goes. He's got a bit of a fever, right? Yes, 39.9 degree. He has a fever, 39.7 degrees SARS. How old is Sherlock? We don't know, eight or nine years old. that he had, which is a parasitic disease. Sometimes the disease goes away and it comes back, but we don't know. We're gonna draw blood and then we'll see. Bye. 
Has he ever limped before? No. His elbow bothers him more than his shoulder. Is he eating? This morning, he ate very little. He has a rather nasty mass. Where? Is it large? Roughly 4.5 by 2.5 centimeters. Where is it? You still don't know. I'm not sure if it's a lymph node. Victor, come over. This is important. There's quite an obvious mass. It's very close to the spleen. It could be a lymph node, or an adrenal gland, or maybe part of the intestinal wall, though I don't think so at first glance. This here is the mass we've seen. That's quite a large mass. If there is metastasis, it's not obvious. The recommendation would be to do a CT scan of both the chest and part of the abdomen. The bone cortex, which is white, suddenly disappears here. Sometimes this can be a sign of bone metastasis meaning that the mass in his abdomen could be linked to the limping and this finding. At first glance, it appears there is no lung metastasis. All the white areas are blood vessels. This is the mass. Would be to perform an exploratory laparotomy. Open up and surgically see if it can be removed. Remove it and send it off. Exactly. So Sherlock has a tumor, and a tumor that wasn't there four months ago. We treated him for leishmaniasis, he recovered, and he was doing great, and he's looking for a home. But now we have found out that he has a tumor in his stomach, and we need to take it out. We're going to do absolutely everything to treat him, to take care of him, to make sure that everything is fine. But for this, we need you. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save him. Thank you.